welcome back. I've switched out the little wooden chair for my beanbag chair. Oh. Crap. I'm I'm stuck. Well, this is better than the wooden chair in that my butt's not hurting. But there's no back support. Oh, I guess the, the back of my bed counts as back support. Da da da, get past this. Go on, footprints. You guys have already seen that. Now. There's a period in my life when I have to sleep. And when I sleep, I usually forget what happens the previous day. So, it'll just be a moment for me to remember what we were doing. Remember something about burglaries. Let me just get into the case about criminal timing. First step is to find out exactly when the break-in happened. Okay, so we go back to Ms. Gray, as I'm calling her, because I'm, I'm polite. Examine. They even messed up her bed. How rude. Freaking jerks. Examine. The burglars broke the clock. Luckily, this froze its hands, recording the exact time of the break-in. 7.02 p.m. Dinner time. Now to find out what's when Skip was at Geno's. Watch him be at Geno's, 7.02 p.m. My supper time is actually at 5. <laughs> Here's the list of specials. Oh, we've seen that. We saw that back in, um, like episode 5, 6, 7. I can't remember. One of the ones where he lost his maps. Do you know exactly when Skip came in here yesterday? I'm uh, sorry, Jess. Uh, it was a very busy in here yesterday. Uh, I don't remember when he came in. Uh, do you remember any details about Skip's visit? Well, uh, he ordered a large vanilla clama pizza. He couldn't uh, finish it, uh, so he took his leftovers back to his office. Uh, leftovers? That's perfect, Gino. Thanks. I should check Skip's office for evidence of leftovers. There's Dorky Buddy. Garbage! No, I'm not checking it. Oh, we got a text. The ladder's up, but the cat keeps backing away from it. Should we have Travis go up the ladder or try to climb the tree directly? I see. I say tree. Because cats are scared of ladders. Good afternoon, Skip. I'm a little busy right now, Jess. I'll have to talk with you later. That's how all mayors are. Gah. Nothing interesting yet. Oh, what did that? What? I saw pizza. This must be Skip's leftover pizza from yesterday. Roxy, can you analyze this pizza slice? I want to know how old it is. More forensics. CSI, criminal sim investigation.
It looks like that slice was freshly baked yesterday at lunchtime. That's no 702. Skip 18 hours for lunch with breaking habit and supper. Skip's alibi just not pulled up. Yeah, this will work. I need to report my findings to Evelyn. Let's go. Do, do, do. Thanks for nothing, Skippo. Hey, where do you think you're going? I got proof that it was Skip at the meeting. Nice work, Jess. Let's go stick it to the man. Send him a scene. Mm hmm. I have big hair. Hello again, Skip. Holy crap! What? You again? I already told you everything I know. Yes, you did. Of course, it was all lies, so I thought we might try again. What? You better have proof making accusations like that. According to your alibi, you had dinner at Gino's yesterday, but we know that's not true. You were at Gino's yesterday, but it was for lunch. Our forensic scientists tracked the development of mold colonies on your leftover pizza. <laughs> what? You did science? On my pizza? <laughs> yep. It pegs the pizza's cookie time at 12.30 p.m. Lunch time. Plus or minus two minutes. And they know you received my father's journal because they found your inhaler at the drop-off site. Oh, I see. Look, I didn't ask how they were getting the book. I was just supposed to hold it for a while. Really? Well, you're done holding it now. Why did Morcubus Scoon steal? No, why did Morcubus Scoon steal the journal? What's he after? I can tell you, but I don't want this going public. Tell nobody about this incident. I think I will tell. I don't know, but I probably will end up telling. No way! We won't make deals with villains. It's okay, buddy. Morcubus is the one behind this. We have bigger fish to fry than Skip Rogers. Even if he is corrupt and pathetic. Oh, he's sad. Look, here's what I know. Yes, Morcubus wanted that journal. He needed as much information as possible on the whereabouts of a man who used to work with Evelyn's father. And we will find out some more next time.